Let's take a step back and reflect on what's unfolding here, because it's as surprising as it is disappointing. Drake, arguably the face of global rap for over a decade and a beneficiary of industry support and algorithmic boosts, is now challenging the same system that helped elevate him. He's suing Universal Music Group over allegations that Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us was artificially inflated. The irony? Drake's career has flourished on the very mechanisms he's now calling into question. But let's focus on what Not Like Us represents. It wasn't just a song, it became a cultural moment. From London to Kigali, Trinidad to Tokyo, it resonated worldwide. Marching bands played it, clubs embraced it, fans sang it word for word at shows. Was that due to bots? Or was it because the song struck a chord with people in a way that Drake's recent music hasn't managed to? What makes this even more perplexing is that Drake invited this. He urged Kendrick to drop, taunted him, and essentially demanded a response. When Kendrick delivered strategically and powerfully, Drake seemingly couldn't handle it. Instead of responding with artistry, he's taken the matter to court. This is virtually unheard of in hip-hop, a genre where battles are fought and won through lyrics, not legal filings. The lawsuit itself raises eyebrows. Drake alleges that Universal unfairly boosted Kendrick, but conveniently overlooks how his own music has been given unparalleled exposure. Recall 2018 when Spotify users complained about Drake's face-dominating playlists, even those unrelated to his music. To accuse others of benefiting from label support while ignoring his own advantages is, at best, ironic. The timing of this lawsuit feels particularly conspicuous. Kendrick has just released a critically acclaimed album, and Drake, amid a challenging period for his public image, seems eager to shift the conversation. This approach doesn't just reflect poorly on him, it calls into question his understanding of what makes hip-hop special. He appears to assume Kendrick needed artificial help, because perhaps he knows that's been part of his own journey. This move doesn't just affect Kendrick, it challenges the principles of the culture itself. Hip-hop is built on the foundation of lyrical competition, where artists prove their mettle with their music, not in courtrooms. Drake's decision undermines that tradition. It sends a troubling message. If you lose a battle, you can try to litigate your way out of it. And that's where the heart of this issue lies. If this lawsuit were to succeed, it could set a precedent that threatens artistic freedom and the spirit of competition that defines rap. It risks turning hip-hop from an art form into something dictated by corporate interests. As this unfolds, the contrast between the two artists is striking. Kendrick remains focused on the music, letting his work speak for itself, while Drake's actions suggest a man struggling to reconcile his place in a shifting landscape. Hip-hop deserves better than this, and so do its fans. Let's hope the culture emerges stronger and that its core values remain intact.